You may remember a story we had a while back on Hobbs Municipal Schools implementing an AI tool to detect firearms in their schools. Well, after the success of the software, Hobbs is now taking it citywide. KCBD News Channel 11's Natalie Falkenberry joins us from Hobbs with all the details. Natalie? Well, Karen and Abner, that new tool is called Zero Eyes, an AI gun detection software that will now be implemented on all city cameras here in Hobbs. Now, that includes parks, traffic lights, and all city buildings in hopes to protect citizens and give officers an upper hand when it comes to gun violence. Well, the way the system works is that, you know, the, the, the software detects what it believes to be a firearm. It alerts zero eyes, and then they turn around and alert us if they believe it's actually a, you know, something we need to look into. A software that Hobbs PD is no stranger to. Hobbs Municipal School started using zero eyes in fall of last year. Sergeant Ingley says its success is what led to the citywide deployment. The, the, the push for trying to make everything safer, our parks, um, our city buildings, anywhere someone might come in and, and be carrying a firearm, um, we, we found it to be really positive with the schools. Zero eyes will be implemented implemented on nearly 1,000 existing security cameras within the city. Although it is legal to open carry in New Mexico, Zero Eyes only detects guns that are outside of a holster. Ingley says it's just an added layer of protection for public and officer safety. To definitely help us get ahead of a call, and maybe even alert us to a call we don't know about. Um, a situation going on, nobody's been able to, to notify us in a park. You have someone with a gun and you've got a situation going on and they're not able to break away and get to a phone. Let's us know. Sergeant Ingley says that Homs is one of the first cities in our area to deploy zero eyes across the city. He hopes that Homs will be a model for other cities and agencies to follow suit. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Natalie.